And what we've got on display here is a Rotec R2800 and R36, complete R3600. The components for both the R2800 and the R3600 are, are very much shared, with around about 80 to 85 percent of the components um, interchangeable. Obviously, things such as the master rod and uh, other items are slightly different, obviously being at nine and seven, but the the basics of the engine are the same, the same crankshaft, lifters, pistons, all those sorts of things. So here we go through the, the line here, we've got a crankcase and cams, crankshaft bearings, seven cylinder master rod, an accessory gear at the back, a cam spigot, um, cam spigot uh, there with the two bronze bearings to be pressed in, accessory back plate, it's accessory gears, new planetary gearbox with bronze bushings as opposed to the the roller bearings which we had some problems with but have switched back to the bronze the plain bronze bearings with all pressure feeding so now what happens is there's a there's a gallery drilled right through there it's plugged and the all pressure feeding through the center of that shaft from the engine feeds those those three hefty planet gears these planet gears are much heftier and stronger than the earlier ones which were quite successful but these are certainly stronger um, so that's a reasonably new development we've just sort of started to uh, to experiment with that accessory uh, accessory plate here the accessory plate has now got a new um, a compound gear where the gear is actually pressed um, into this so one. yes new fan a uh, new new fan design or one piece billet um, yep yeah, flows nicely now that's a good fan lifters hardened roller lifters uh, these are hardened and ground lifters with deep cups and we've got a starter motor input, obviously push rods and push rod tubes, rocker arms now with plain bearings and an O-ring seal at one end, and blind at the other end with a keeper with a keeper grub screw with a point on it, which is trapped by the rocker cover, and uh, that's has been working quite well. The uh, basically a third generation of cylinder head, starting from the billet head right through to this one I'm holding in my hand now, which is a, a pressurised die cast head, and it's actually had uh, it's actually have. Um, die cast cores as well, collapsible cores, so they're not sand cores at all for those ports. They're all uh, metal dies. Same valves, um, everything else the same. The, uh, the nose bowl for both engines now has a, an O-ring groove here to seal the, the nose case against the crankcase. It's the oil drain, front oil drain. And here we have a, a uh, Sun gear, the gear planetary gearbox. Anyway, the complete 3600 engine, the current model, has the new O ringed rocker covers. Um, everything else here is pretty much the same, nothing's changed there. And moving along here, we have the mini sump. This is the sump between the two lower cylinders, you can see it right there. The next generation sump we're using, this hasn't actually gone into production yet, but it will, has two convenient um, scavenge ports on the back. So customers who want to run an electric scavenge pump or a clean kit, as we would call it, now no longer have to tee or use intersections. They can simply use the second fitting. So we've paralleled the bottom fitting and uh, that'll work fine. If you use, if you put the electric scavenge pump on the top port, then obviously you're going to have a very short column of oil below it, but that's not really significant. The bulk of the, uh, the oil is uh, removed. You can actually put the engine scavenge pump and the electric scavenge pump on either port. It really would make very little difference. We have a section of exhaust system which was removed so we could have the whole engine on the bench there. The intake pipes with the, the drain nipples here and here on the appropriate cylinders, the lower cylinders. The ignition system, the dual hall effect electronic ignition system with the seven cylinder chopper plates here. And then the, the custom seven cylinder distributor caps which are made out of solid acetyl plastic. These have uh, been used since day one. The uh, the high volume scavenge pump, which we've been using since 2005. Starter motor, classic cylinder used on both the 2800 and 3600, not honed yet, but ready for honing. And what happens is we screw the cylinder head down onto that thread there. That's a uh, two millimeter pitch by 89 millimeter thread custom. And the head gets screwed down onto that tight under temperature. And then when the head finds its resting place, we then drill the cylinder base holes to match the alignment of the head. Obviously there's no way you could have the holes in this cylinder and then screw the head down and expect it to line up. So you put the holes in in relationship to the head. Standard piston, which is a Toyota piston we've been using since day one, no problem there at all. Uh, we have upgraded the, um, 
the uh, the oil drain to now a TIG welded um, steel manifold, which is a bit stronger. The fuel pumps, uh, several of these fuel pumps have been changed over the years because they're a VW aftermarket pump, and they do change from time to time. This one we've uh, got quite a lot of stock on because we've got it made specifically for us. So the top cover with the nipples here has been aligned specifically for the Rotec engine, and it must have a steel lever, and um, and um, and those positioned appropriately. So we have those made for us now. But they are, it is based on a VW aftermarket pump. Uh, also what I like about this pump is some of the earlier pumps, the nipples were pressed in and they could come out, which was a, a real problem. Um, and we used to pin them, but that's no longer required because these, these nipples are now integral with the top cover, so that's a lot safer. Moving along here, pistons of course. Um, and a 2800 crankcase, ready to take bearings and be assembled, you can see it there. It's a nicely made piece of uh, 6061 T6 aluminium. All the lifters there, you can see there, bearing accessory bearings on the back there, crankshaft roller bearing, uh, very nice. And the 3600 is exactly the same. I've got the cam spigot just roughly in position there. That's what the cam would spin on. And uh, same, same, exactly the same philosophy there. This has actually got the roller bearings already installed, you can see there, and on the rear. And in fact, the accessory bearings are in as well. So they're ready to assemble. So there you go. That's the whole assembly of uh, all the parts that would basically be required for the assembly of a of 36 slash 2800 engine. Here's the rear of the engine. There's the pump I mentioned, the distributor caps, the uh, 45 amp alternator driven off the back here. Uh, it's got the dual ignition, of course, which is standard on both engines now. And there's the other hall sensor on the other side. We've got the starter motor here and it, it engages with this pinion on the back here. TBI throttle body, mini sump as I said, intake drain here, here and here on the 3600. The exhaust system at the lower at the tail pipes have been removed so it can sit on this bench here for display purposes. And that's, uh, there's your 3600. There you go. That's what it takes to build a Rotec R3600 and 2800 radial engine.